Hello there, my grade 6 learners. Are you ready for another day of fun and learning? Join me as we explore Health 6 right here on Valenzuela FB Live. I am Teacher Chris of Malinta Elementary School, your live streaming teacher for today. But before we start our lesson, please type in your name, section, and school in the comment box. Here are the things that you need to remember to make our learning journey more meaningful and productive. Number one, be on time. Set up early so that you're good and ready when our Valenzuela FB Live starts. Number two, be prepared. Have everything you need within reach, like your module, notebook, and ball pen. Number three, be respectful. Listen and watch attentively. Number four, avoid an unnecessary comment on the comment box. Before we proceed to our discussion today, I am going to present to you the most essential learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to explains how poor environmental sanitation can negatively impact the health of an individual, discusses ways to keep water and air clean and safe. In your previous lesson, you have learned on ways to keep our school and community clean. Now, let's have a quick recap. I will give you three seconds for each number to do that. Look at the picture. Which of the following situation should we do to our mother nature? Write agree if the picture shows care for our mother nature and disagree if not. Number one. Answer, agree. Number two. Answer, agree. Number three. Answer, agree. Number four. Answer, disagree. And number five. Answer, agree. Did you get all the correct answers? Amazing grade 6 learners! Now, look at the picture. Does it show proper environmental sanitation? What do you think are the cause of these environment problems? Is it safe for children like you having this kind of environment? What possible diseases can be acquired with this kind of environment. With the rapid growth of population and excessive urbanization, environmental health of the country is threatened, affecting mainly the people. Environmental problems like overpopulation, improper waste disposal, Destructive human activities such as deforestation, fish kill, kainin, dynamite fishing, and uncontrolled toxic chemicals released on water and air will surely threaten the health of the people in the community. 
This is the reason why good environmental sanitation is necessary to maintain a healthy community and its people. Environmental sanitation is the promotion of hygiene and the prevention of disease and other consequences of ill health relating environmental factors. Environmental sanitation means keeping your environment free from water, air, and even noise pollution so that the people in the country will improve their health. Poor sanitation has negatively impacts on the environment and eventually on the health of the people living in it. Poor sanitation is the absence of sanitation. People living in crowded city slums and villages with poor sanitation means that waste lie on the street, clogs and drains and creates an immediate local hazard. When this type of environment condition continues to exist, the health of the people suffers and diseases and disorders occurs. Poor environmental sanitation is linked to transmission of diseases. Some diseases and disorders due to poor sanitation are Number one, respiratory disease. This is one of the most common sicknesses that is an effect of poor environmental sanitation. Common cold is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract that caused by many different viruses. The symptoms are runny nose, sneezing, nasal congestion, watery eyes, and mucus drainage. The second most common disease is gastrointestinal disease. One example of this disease is the diarrhea. It is sometimes called intestinal flu or stomach flu. The symptoms are loose bowel movement or LBM and dehydration. Another gastrointestinal disease is the cholera. It is a bacterial infection caused by drinking water or consuming food that is contaminated by bacterium Vibrio cholerae. Dysentery is another example of gastrointestinal disease. It is an infection of the intestines resulting in severe diarrhea with the presence of blood and mucus in the feces. Another example of disease under gastrointestinal is the typhoid fever. It is an illness caused by drinking water that is contaminated with stool containing the bacteria Salmonella. Another disease and disorder caused by poor environmental sanitation is the skin disease. When skin comes in contact with pollutants, it results to some illness like eczema, scabies, and ringworms. You can avoid getting infected by any disease by being consistent with your daily health habits and personal hygiene practices. Here are also the ways that you can do to keep our water clean. Number one, don't dump anything in the storm drains. Number two, participate in cleanup drive. Number three, don't throw waste in the water. And number four, reduce water use. Ways to keep our air clean. Number one, keep your automobiles in good condition to avoid emission resulting to smoke belching vehicle. Number two, avoid burning non-biodegradable waste. Number three, 
walk or ride your bike to places. And number four, plant trees. You should also in your own way contribute to public cleanliness. Participate and maintain healthy practices at home. Oh, what time is it? It's test time. Put a thumbs up for desirable human activities and thumbs down for poor environmental sanitation practices. Number one, dumping garbage in the bodies of water. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer, thumbs down. Number two, tree planting. The correct answer, thumbs up. Number three, walking or biking to minimize the use of fuel. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer, thumbs up. Smoke belching. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer, thumbs down. And number five, participating in cleanliness drives in the community. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? The correct answer, thumbs up. Did you get all the correct answers? Amazing grade 6 learners. Let's have a quick recap. In today's lesson, you learn about environmental sanitation. It's the promotion of hygiene and the prevention of disease and other consequences of ill health relating to environmental factors. Poor sanitation has negatively impacts on the environment and eventually on the health of the people living in it. These diseases and disorders caused by poor environmental san sanitation, these are respiratory disease, like common cold, number two, gastrointestinal disease, like diarrhea, cholera, dysentery, and typhoid fever. And number three, skin diseases like eczema, scabies, and ringworms. Here are the ways to keep our water clean. Number one, don't dump anything in the storm drains. Participate in cleanup drive. Number three, don't throw waste in water. And number four, Reduce water use. Here are the ways to keep our air clean. Number one, keep your automobiles in good condition to avoid emission resulting to smoke belching vehicle. Number two, avoid burning non-biodegradable waste. Number three, walk or ride your bike to places. And number four, plant trees. For today's lesson, please answer yes if the statement is true and no if it is false. Number one, eating unwashed food is harmful to one's health. Is it a yes or no? Answer, yes. Number two, Access to safe drinking water can prevent cholera. Is it a yes or a no? Answer, yes. 
Number three, environmental sanitation is the promotion of hygiene and the prevention of disease and other consequences of ill health relating to environmental factor. Is it a yes or a no? Answer, yes. Number four, poor sanitation has negative impacts in the environment and in the health of the people living on it. Is it a yes or a no? Answer, yes. And number five, Improving and maintaining good sanitation in your own home is a significant contribution to the health of the community. Is it a yes or a no? Answer, yes. Wow! You all did great! Two shoulder taps on the left and two shoulder taps on the right. Great job, kids! For your additional activity, draw a picture that shows how to take care of the environment. This has been another day of learning. This is Teacher Chris saying nothing looks as good as healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy life. Goodbye everyone! For your additional activity, draw a picture that shows how to take care of the environment. This has been another day of learning. This is Teacher Chris saying nothing looks as good as healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy life. Goodbye everyone!